Good afternoon. We had the pleasure of presenting a Trials in Progress poster yesterday on one of our ongoing investigator-initiated studies that evaluated um, talizoprib, a PARP inhibitor, in patients with somatic BRCA mutant metastatic breast cancer. So PARP inhibitors are currently approved in the metastatic germline setting um, in patients who have germline BRCA1 or 2 mutations in HER2 negative metastatic disease. Um, however, germline BRCA mutations only account for 5 to 10 percent of breast cancer. So in this study, we're actually seeking to expand the population of patients who may potentially benefit from PARP inhibitors. These are very well-tolerated oral therapies, and they're targeted therapies, so it would be great to be able to expand the population of patients that may benefit from them. Um, so our study is actually based on our prior work in which we demonstrated that a portion of patients with metastatic breast cancer have somatic BRCA1 or 2 mutations. These are mutations that are shed by the tumor that can be found um, using cell-free DNA or blood-based assays or in tumor tissue genotyping assays. And we actually collaborated with the laboratory of Daniel Haber at Mass General and were able to demonstrate using a CTC line that was derived from a patient who had a somatic BRCA mutation um, the efficacy of a PARP inhibitor in the laboratory. So that forms the rationale for this study. And this is a multi-center trial that we designed in which patients with um, HER2-negative metastatic breast cancer who are found to have a somatic BRCA mutation either on a cell-free DNA assay or tumor tissue genotyping assay are treated with the PARP inhibitor talizoprib. They stay on treatment until the time of progression. Our primary endpoint is to look at progression-free survival. We also have a number of very interesting correlative studies that are planned using cell-free DNA that's collected on a monthly basis to help us identify mutations that may contribute to resistance to the PARP inhibitor. So this is a really exciting study that we have open um, at Mass General, also at MD Anderson, the University of California, San Francisco, Emory, Northwestern, Vanderbilt, and soon also at Cornell. And uh, we uh, certainly would love to collaborate with uh, physicians and patients across the country if um, there are interested patients who may want to participate in this study. Thank you.